So here's the next video update. I am happy to announce that the required fiberglass is now applied to the whole hull of, the, uh, of my 580 uh, as per the specs from Janus. So I guess my next step is to start doing the fairing filler uh, and a little bit more work on the stern in terms of some, uh, some putting the squareness on the back of the, uh, the back pieces of uh, hull plating where it meets up with the stern. I don't think I'll be doing all the fairing filler over the whole boat before I decide to turn it over. I think I'm going to do possibly the whole bottom and into the chines, I think, um, and then uh, turn the boat over, I think, and get working on the interior and then obviously the cockpit and the deck. I think I'm going to actually like the uh, change of pace in terms of getting onto something different, a little bit more uh, wood construction as opposed to dealing with this fiberglass. Uh, that wasn't my favorite part, that's for sure. And probably the fairing filler is going to be along the same lines. So I might uh, jump ahead and uh, get working on the interior and, uh, and some of the cockpit area. I think my procedure is going to be uh, turning the boat again back upside down once the deck is done, uh, probably once it's all totally finished, and, and then come back and actually do the uh, uh, finish off the fairing filler and paint the exterior of the hull, the total, like the bottom, as well as the chines and any topside work that needs to be finished off. And okay, I'm going to get down off the boat. Hopefully, I can do that without uh, falling. And I'll give you a little tour of all the things that we've been working on the past week. Here's the stern with the required amount of fiberglass on the surface. And obviously on the corners uh, of the hull attaching to the stern, there is the required reinforcing there as well. I also have put, it's hard to see maybe, I put uh, two additional layers in way of where the rudder is going to attach. And over on this side, I had a little bit of epoxy left over, so I decided to start putting that in the corner here. Hopefully you can see that, where I need to square off the hull. Over the past few days, myself and a few friends finished off the layers of fiberglass over the whole hull that is required as per the spec. Um, I was concerned I wasn't going to get enough layers in the bow, uh, but then I realized between the reinforcing that are on the joints here, uh, as it comes forward, it wraps around here many times, and then the two coats, uh, or two layers, sorry, of fiberglass that come forward, it actually wraps around from both ways. So, uh, I don't know, I probably have, I don't know how many layers are on there, probably upwards of, uh, 15, 16 layers possibly. So I think that'll be a nice strong bow. That's all folks.